roboticists around the world are just really excited by the opportunity to really push the state of technology, particularly in these kinds of dangerous, rugged environments. It's, it's the entire purpose of robotics in some sense, is to allow us to build automated systems that will make it uh, easier and safer for people to operate in these kinds of environments and uh, to send them to places that we don't necessarily want to send people. So Team Pluto is a amalgam of organizations uh, led by us at the University of Pennsylvania and our two subcontractors are Eggs and Technologies and uh, Ghost Robotics. We have a very tight-knit group and we think that's a bit of an advantage. So our legged platforms have the advantage that they allow us to go over really rough terrain and do a lot of uh, extensive exploration over large distances. Uh, but it brings some challenges and that we need to work a lot on making these things as reliable and robust as possible. Our flying platforms, likewise, bring a new dimension in terms of being able to explore in full three dimensions, being able to go up uh, vertical inclines. And the question is, how do we effectively coordinate them so that we can get the best out of both kinds of systems? The sub-T challenge is interesting intellectually, again, because it just forces us to push the edge of autonomy, to get systems that are really, really robust. And that can serve in so many different environments. Agriculture, for instance, is a very, very tough environment for robots to work in currently. Mining is a clear example of, for these kinds of things. Subterranean uh, environments underwater. These are all sorts of really interesting environments that we would like to have robots work in, and this technology is, uh, and this challenge is sort of pushing us in that direction.